Hello everyone, my name is Li Jie Liu. Today I will talk about income tax for JP Hi-Fi Limited. Um, so firstly, I will talk about uh, accounting concept. Uh, so uh, accounting profit. Uh, so first of all is accounting profit. It is also called um, financial profit. Uh, it is the total profit of the company and then it it usually be calculated uh, according to um, generally accepted accounting principle. Uh, it also includes explicit costs such as um, depreciation, uh, interest, interest, and uh, wages. Uh, and then is the tax taxable to profit uh, is usually is used to calculate tax on income, which is. Uh, calculated under um, taxational principle and then is temporary differences the temporary differences is the differences between the carrying amount of uh, asset or liability uh, and its tax base uh, so it's also divided to taxable temporary differences and deductible uh, temporary differences. For taxable uh, temporary differences, it create taxable sum. Uh, it, it create taxable amounts uh, in determining taxable profit uh, of future uh, in the future. It will uh, generate um, deferred tax liability. For deductible uh, temporary differences, it will create deductible amounts in determining taxable profit in the future. It will generate Deferred tax asset. So for deferred tax assets, uh, it's it has been used in the future to reduce taxable income. And uh, so the assets usually occurs when the companies pay more taxes than they should have, or the ta uh, the companies um pay the taxes in advance. And so for um. And deferred tax liabilities, it's opposite from deferred tax assets. Um, it has been it's it is the tax liability which should be paid in the future. Uh, so it, it usually occurs when the timing differences between the tax occurs and the tax being paid. So next one uh, is to um explain explain the recognition of explain the uh, recognition criteria of uh, different tax assets and different tax liability. So it, um, it, it should be mentioned for different tax assets, uh, there's a, a criteria uh, in AASB 112 paragraph 24. Um, it, it says there should be recognized all deductible uh, temporary differences. Um, but it can exclude the initial recognition uh, of an asset or liability which is not for business combination and will it will not affect uh, transaction time uh, on accounting profits nor taxable profits. Um, for deferred tax liability, it's uh, located in AASB 12, uh, 112, paragraph 15. Um, for deferred tax, liability should be recognized for all taxable temporary differences, but excluded, uh, but it excludes uh, initial recognition of goodwill and also initial recognition of uh, assets in transaction, which is not business combination. Uh, however, in, uh, in the JP Hi-Fi uh, case, um, they actually offset a deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability, which I will uh, explain in the um, in the following section. So next is um tax expense for JB Hi-Fi Limited. Um, so for JB Hi-Fi, uh, the income tax expense is one hundred and one point three million dollars in two thousand and eighteen. Um, in two thousand and nineteen, it is one hundred and nine point five million dollars. Next is um tax rate. So the tax tax rate um JP Hi-Fi use is thirty uh, percent. Um, however, the tax rate times the uh income before tax, which is um 
I only talk about nine, uh, 2019, which is 107.8 million dollars. Um, however, the actual uh, tax expense is um, 109.5 million dollars. So there's a the differences between uh, those two numbers, uh, which you can see in the table. Um, they they actually listed why there's the differences. So first item is uh, effect of uh, expense that are not deductible in determining tax taxable profits. Uh, and then also JB Hyphen has different store in other countries, so they it might have different tax rate or they have a different uh, tax registration, uh, uh, different tax uh, legislation, sorry. Um, and then next one is different tax asset. So uh, to determine what's the different, what's different tax asset and different tax liabilities in the JB Hi-Fi uh, company, they actually are listed in the notes in their annual report. Uh, so in the table, you can see it's, uh, for different tax assets, there's a, a provisions, inventories, and different revenue um, in the different tax assets um, location, uh, different tax asset section. And then different tax liability has brand named and pre prepayment uh, located in the different tax liability. Next one is uh, current tax assets. Um, so for the current current tax assets, um, the income tax uh, expense is one hundred and nine point five million dollars. However, for um, however for sorry, wait a second. However, for um the for the current tax liability is 5.1 million dollars in 2019 uh, so there's a the differences so uh, income tax uh, expense uh, is the actual amount that's um, during this time was the tax expense in the particular financial time uh, however for current tax liability is the actual amount that owned uh, that company owed to the government, which need to be paid in the future. Uh, for a current tax asset in the uh, balance sheet of JP Hi-Fi, uh, for JP Hi-Fi's balance sheet, so they doesn't have a uh, current tax asset located in um in the balance sheet. It doesn't have it. So next one is income tax expense. So income tax expense, they have a uh, one hundred and nine point five million dollars in on um, two thousand nineteen. And however, the income tax pays is more than the uh, income uh, income tax expense, which is one hundred and sixteen point four um, million dollars. Now the reason for that is because um. They, they actually didn't have detailed notes for the income tax pay. So uh, we don't know the actual uh, actual reason why the number is differences, but we can guess that they might need, they might have a different uh, they have different tax liability uh, in the previous time. So um, they might need to cover up uh, that uh, that. The, the the last time to, uh, different tax liability or uh, they want to pay more taxes in advance um, to um to create the different tax assets um next one is temporary differences and permanent uh, permanent differences the temporary differences is uh, which I said before, it's the, which is the differences between the current amount of asset or liability and its tax base. For permanent differences, which actually, um, so for the temporary differences, the different differences will be covered up uh, in the future, but the permanent differences won't be covered up, won't be reversed in the future, and it won't uh, create a uh, different tax uh, differ, uh, it won't create taxable temporary differences and deductible temporary differences. So usually it's the te uh, permanent differences, which is fine or tax uh, credit, 
but in the JB Hi-Fi uh, case, they didn't have um, fine. They didn't. They didn't have fine in this. Uh, in the in their annual report, so we can guess they might have um, tax create uh, credit. They might have tax credit, but they doesn't show the detail of tax credit. And then um, for inside, um, the um, for for the insights which you can see on the table, I find it's interesting that um, they actually show a different type of calculating the income tax expense, but um, but you, they have different methods, but still coming up with the same uh, result, uh, which I find is very interesting. And then um, during the whole assignment, assignment time, uh, I can't uh, distinguish different concept of the taxation uh, and I understand more about um, how to um, how to look at the annual report, how to analyze the annual report. So thank you for your listening. Bye.